looking at HD pulling way back here to the three month chart um, to start with. And I, I see some things that I like here. Um, so I just wanna kind of talk it out and um, also want to take a look at the six month chart. So what caught my eye here was this clear double top right there um, at 316, like 80 basically, um, up to like 319. And um, HD has been um, able to hold above this level um, and this most recent um, candle. So I wanna keep an eye um, on this level because it is um, so strong and um, there's just, you know, so, so much happening there. I'm gonna just make it a little bolder. Um, yeah, I definitely wanna keep an eye right around here. And what um, also, caught my eye was on the three was it on the three month was this um you know we kind of just have like a little bit of um a little flag slash uptrend going on here and i don't know i i i see a couple of different possibilities when i look at this chart so let me just turn everything off first all my drawings so clearly we are on um overall hd is on an uptrend um we've had you know that that pullback that the whole market got and then um we've just been really kind of consolidating um since then we've just been kind of going sideways between what is this um, 267 to uh, like right here like 335 which is not a terrible range I mean there's moves here and all that but you can just kind of see how the consolidation seems to be getting tighter and tighter and tighter so I think a, um, a bigger move is probably building up and the big question is which way is the bigger move going to be so when I look at the 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 chart um i see what could be um an inverse h forming which is a bullish pattern um but we would obviously need to um get some upside momentum in order to um, get that continuation and this area up here at like 343 um has been 340 basically to 345 has been acting as resistance so um just kind of want to add that up there and i'm going to make it this rust color um <clears throat> so it looks like a squeeze is happening here to me you know as i'm just kind of bringing a little bit more structure to the chart this looks like a squeeze and with 340 kind of holding as resistance um and 318.50 ish trying to hold as support um i think eventually we are going to get either a push higher or we're going to get a break lower um and we do have um, some, you know, strong levels to kind of keep an eye on. If we do get that move lower, one is right here at um, right at about 300, basically, um, which is a psych level. And now I think I want to make it a little bit bolder. And then um, right here at like 295, I mean, this whole little area right here I think we could just kind of watch so let me just use my rectangle tool to draw that out so I would just kind of watch to see can HD get the hold right here at about 300 um, if not <clears throat> again this is big 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 picture charting um, I would want to see what happens here at about 280 um, so as i'm looking at this kind of bigger picture i don't know i'm I, I don't know 
I don't know. <laughs> Let's move down and then just kind of see what else the chart is showing. Um, so our, our, our clean up trend on the um, three month, it gets a little sloppy on the um, monthly. So I do want to leave it up, but I just want to make it a little bit more faint just so I can clearly see what's going on. Um, actually just going to kind of turn everything off a little bit. Um, so again, just clearly can see where HD has been struggling right here, um, at 340. And, um, this month we are now below last month's closing high. So <clears throat> that's something to kind of keep an eye on. Um, I'm just gonna mark that level. And then we had resistance here, resistance here. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just gonna kind of watch, that's like 334.25. And then um, on the downside, we do have um, some support like right in here. I want to say between like 324 and 326 um, that could help HD. So I want to just kind of add that in. I'll just say 324 to 325. And <clears throat> Actually, no, I do want to take it up to that next candle because um, that's the next highest uh, close, or not close, but the top of the body. Um, so I'll just take it there. So I do want to see if we can hold here this month. Now, what I do like is that we've had two very strong bullish months. Um, we are getting a pullback here. But I don't think that means that this is a reversal just yet. Um, but again, you can just see we've been like in this little box right here between like 278 and 340. Again, not terrible, but um, just not continuing higher or lower in this range here. Um, so I do want to... Now just move over to the weekly. Let me just kind of spread this chart out a little bit. Um, so right away on the weekly, my eye goes right here to this cup that we have going. And then you can see the consolidation. I mean, we are sideways. We are just going sideways here on HD. Um, we look like we were gonna get that breakout, you know, this past week, but we just couldn't get the hold. Um, HD uh, did just have earnings too, um, but even with that, I mean, it's still in the range. It's still in this range. So um, I think, you know, here, looking here, could have this, oops, could have like an inverse head and shoulders setting up. Um, Oops. So here is the left shoulder. Oops. See, you try to copy and paste, and sometimes it just slows me down. All right, so there's left shoulder, head. <clears throat> Wondering if this consolidation is working on a right shoulder. Um, but for now, you know, we can definitely see this uptrend here. Just make this my standard, <clears throat> excuse me. So we are still on an uptrend. We are still holding the uptrend. And um, even with the pullbacks, we had like a nice recovery. So we got a little pullback. We held support from the previous week. We got the push higher. Um, here we got a, a nice push up. We're holding support. We are holding this strong level here at like 325. And I think, I feel like that's saying something. I feel like it's saying something. 
Um, unfortunately, though, we're not breaking above 334, so we're just kind of stuck. So I do want to add um, some a level here for the weekly for me to just kind of keep an eye on. Um, I do want to see, you know, as we are now kind of going to, we're squeezing between this trend line here and these strong levels of resistance up here. Um, when we run out of space in this squeeze, what's the move going to be? Are we going to be able to hold 324, 325? If not, um, I think we can get the move back down to 320 and 318. Um, and if we do get, um, can get a break above 331.60, um, really got to see what happens here at like 334.25, this strong monthly level. And then this really strong area up here, we could just get another rejection. I mean, golly, look at that. Look at, sheesh. Wow, this candle right here, no joke. Um, you do not want to get caught in that. So, um, yeah, I think that HD is consolidating for a bigger move. And um, the, the move right now for me is just to wait for confirmation and to wait for direction. Um, I'm not grabbing puts at this 325 level and this trend line here. I'm gonna actually make it bold since it's on the weekly chart. So I just know, you know, that it's a strong one. Um, yeah, I don't wanna grab puts right here. And even if we break it, like we have a double top kind of right here on the weekly, um, like this whole little area right here from 320 to like 321 that could be um, support. So I'm just not eager to jump into um, puts, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not. This is an actually a great level to keep an eye on also to see if we can hold here and hold um, this trend line. All right, so moving to the daily, just wanna see, um, do we have any um, opportunities in between as we are squeezing and I think I don't know it just seems like we're in like a scalp a scalpers zone right here um, I, I it just it just kind of looks like we m may not get great moves until we can get a breakout um, so you you know if we can hold here and get um, a little bit of continuation. Like I see some possible resistance right here at this level. Um, we have support, support, support. And then on Friday, we rejected that level of, of now holding as resistance. So that's something um, that I want to keep an eye on um, because if we're rejecting here, but we're holding here, we're just gonna ping pong. Um, so, um, yeah, I think that, um, patience, <laughs> patience is, um, the name of the game. And I think, um, I can just maybe add another kind of, I don't want to over chart, but just got another, oops, downtrend going here, um, to keep an eye on. So I don't know. I honestly just don't love HD as it is right now. Um, kind of want to see um, what we are going to do and if we can hold 324, 325. So um, I did like that um, we had HD had some great analyst ratings that came in after earnings. Um, all were <laughs> all were good. All were great all price target increases. Um, every analyst maintained their previous ratings. Um, so I mean, I don't know, the, the market seems to think that HD is strong and has another run in it. Um, obviously going to hurt retail, um, 
but um, I, I think that HD does have um, some good things going for it, like this uptrend that it's holding, like this major level here that it's holding. So um, just want to kind of see what happens next. So that's what I'm watching on HD.